Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's discuss what the best form of thyroid hormone might be. You've likely heard about different forms of thyroid hormone. There's your standard levothyroxine or Synthroid, which is just a T4 fraction of the hormone. And then there are other types of hormones that have a combination of T4 and T3. These are things like Westroid, Naturethroid, Armor, Thyroid. And there's a little bit of, I guess you could say, debate as to whether or not which, uh, which one is the best. Uh, but, but generally speaking, these are your two classes, or two of the main classes of thyroid hormones, ones that only contain the T4 hormone and ones that contain T4 plus T3. Now, a recent study was done that helps give us an appreciation for what type of response you may have to one of these compared to the other. Now, this study was a placebo-controlled crossover trial. And the crossover part of this is very important. We've probably all heard of placebo-controlled, meaning you don't know what you're getting, nor does the doctor. So the placebo effect has, has been guarded against. In a crossover trial, what's interesting is they take uh, one group and then they are later given the other end of the treatment. So what this looked like in this study to help clarify this, two groups of hypothyroid patients were or one group of hypothyroid patients were divided into two separate groups. One group was given just a T4 hormone. The other group was given a desiccated thyroid hormone, which contains T4 and T3 for 16 weeks. Then the groups were switched and they went forward for another 16 weeks. Now what this gives us is a very accurate assessment of the effect of each treatment because it could have been that one group just happened to respond better or worse. So one group has a treatment for a little while and then they switch over to the other treatment. So we, we isolate for the impact of potentially one group um, being comprised of a um, base of people that are more or less prone to respond. Now here's what's interesting. At the end of the study, 48% preferred the desiccated T4, T3 combination hormone, whereas only 18% preferred the T4 hormone and 32% had no preference. So what we see here, 32% having no preference, 48% having a preference, shows us that there's a slightly better chance, at least according to this study, that one may feel better on a T4, T3 combination. Now what was it that made the group that, prefer, that preferred the T4, T3 combination prefer the actual T4, T3 medication? Well, there was a couple things that were found. One, the group on the T4, T3 combination desiccated thyroid, they lost four pounds compared to the other group. Now that's not a ton of weight, but it's something. And they also noticed that their subjective symptom assessments were improved compared to the other group. So their, their general symptom assessment and their weight were a little bit improved compared to the T4 only group. Now, um, what does this mean? Well, it means that if you've started on a T4 medication and you're not feeling well, you should simply try a T4, T3 combination medication and see if you feel better. You may wanna try one or two different formulas and you, and you wanna work with your doctor to you know, adjust the dose to see if you can find the, the optimum formula and the optimum dose, because there are a couple of different formulas and some people sometimes react to some of the fillers in some of these. But generally speaking, it's a pretty simple endeavor. If you start on T4 and you don't feel better, speak with your doctor about trying a T4, T3 combination and see if you feel better on it. Don't have the expectations that it's going to uh, you know, change your, your life necessarily. It, it may help you feel better, but approach it with a reasonable expectation and simply assess after a number of months if you feel better. If you don't, and here's the important piece, I would not get overly um, wrapped into doing much more robust thyroid testing where you look at other fractions of thyroid hormone like reverse T3, T3, uh, and you look at the free and total fractions because the problem is probably not your thyroid. If you've tried a different type of medication and you've tried a couple of dose adjustments and by a different type of medication, I mean this T4, T3 combination, and you're not feeling noticeably better, the problem is probably not your thyroid. So don't continue to bark up the thyroid tree. 
I'd recommend looking at another system of the body that's potentially causing the symptoms that you think are thyroid symptoms but actually aren't. And as you've probably heard me say before, in many cases, it can come down to a problem in the gut. So I would start with your gut. Start with a gut evaluation and see if it might be a problem in the gut that's contributing to this. And it can contribute in a number of ways. One, the inflammation produced in the gut can cause symptoms that look like hypothyroidism. Two, problems in the gut can cause malabsorption of your thyroid hormone which can lead you to not adequately get that hormone into your system and have a hard time stabilizing your dose or stabilizing your symptoms. Um, and then uh, thirdly and finally, problems in the gut can fuel autoimmunity, which can be one of the underlying causes of hypothyroidism. So in quick recap, this study shows us that more patients tend to prefer a T4, T3 combination than do just a T4 Common, uh, T4 uh, hormone. So if you've been on T4 you, and, not, and you're not feeling well, you may want to try a T4, T3 combination. Try one or two formulas, allow for a reasonable amount of time to work with your doctor to adjust the dose and try to find the optimum dose. And if that doesn't work for you, move on to looking into another system of the body that might be the underlying cause of the symptoms that you're experiencing. So this is Dr. Risho, and hopefully this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.